Morema is a region in the province of Grosseto in southern Tuscany, bordering the Tyrrhenian Sea and offering a splendid slice of the Tuscan countryside. Morema is the perfect destination for agritourism and Etruscan history buffs, but you'll also find stunning medieval villages, amazing islands, accessible beaches, incredible food and delicious wine. In today's video, we will discuss the top must-sees in the Morema. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon. Without further ado, let's begin. Number 1. Grosseto. Grosseto lies on the edge of the region and is known as the political and cultural center of Morema. The historic center is densely packed and surrounded by beautifully preserved medieval walls. Grosseto has been Sienese dominion since 1336 and surrendered to the Medici in 1559 after the Battle of Montalcino. It was only the 20th century that it grew into the city it is today. This is thanks to the reclamation work on its territory. Number 2. Massa Maritima, Medieval Charm If you like churches, you can't miss the town of Massa Maritima on your way to the coast. The beautiful main square houses one of Maremma's artistic highlights, is charming cathedral, the Basilica of St. Serban. You can sit in the square for lunch or drinks and soak up the charming medieval atmosphere. After admiring the towers, which are rare medieval frescoes, head to the fortress for the best views. Number 3. Capalbio. Capalbio is about 45 kilometers southeast of Grosseto and is the southernmost town in Tuscany. Perched on a green hill, it is called Little Athens for its artistic and historical importance during the Renaissance. A visit to Capalbio would not be complete without a visit to the Tarot Garden, a sculpture garden based on esoteric tarot charts containing 22 monumental works in reinforced concrete and covered with mirrors and ceramic mosaics. Massa Maritima has a beautiful historic center surrounded and protected by well-preserved ramparts. A must-see in Massa Maritima is the central piazza surrounded by all the main buildings needed to live in this medieval city. When it thrived, Palazzo del Podesta, the town hall, the marketplace, and further away, the mint and the public fountain. Number 4. Monte Argentario and its ports. Monte Argentario is a green promontory that stretches towards the sea and offers beautiful views. Here you'll find the bustling port of Porto Santo Stefano, with many fish restaurants overlooking the sea. The old town of Porto Ercole is the most scenic and the best beach is Tombolo della Finiglia on the south side. Number 5, Pitigliano. Known for its well-preserved architecture, picturesque streets, and stunning views, Pitigliano is a must-see destination for anyone visiting the region. One of the most striking features of Pitigliano is its location. The town is built on a tough hill, also known as a tufo, which offers visitors a unique perspective of the surrounding countryside. From the top of the hill, you can see the rolling hills of Maremma, the lush vegetation, and the distant sea. As you walk through the streets of Pitigliano, you'll notice the town's well-preserved medieval architecture. The impressive Orsini Palace, built in the 16th century, is one of the most important landmarks of the town. The palace is now open to the public as a museum, 
showcasing the rich history and culture of Pitigliano. Another must-see monument in Pitigliano is the beautiful Cathedral of Santa Maria. Built in the 16th century, this Renaissance-style church is famous for its impressive frescoes and its beautiful bell tower, which offers a panoramic view of the town. Pitigliano is also known for its Jewish community, which has been present in the town since the Middle Ages. The Jewish ghetto, located in the lower part of the town, features several synagogues, including the impressive synagogue of the ghetto and the Jewish Museum, which showcases the rich history of the Jewish community in Pitigliano. The town of Pitigliano is also a great starting point for exploring the surrounding countryside. The area is known for its beautiful parks, such as the Parco della Maremma and the Parco della Xalina, which offer visitors the opportunity to enjoy nature, hiking, and birdwatching. Number 6. Giglio Island. Isola del Giglio is 16 kilometers from Cape Argentario. With 28 kilometers of coastline, it is the second largest island in the Tuscan Archipelago. It attracts travelers with its sandy beaches, small coves, crystal clear azure waters, and a slow pace of life. There are three villages Giglio Porto when arriving from the mainland, the medieval walled town of Giglio Castello, Giglio Campis, famous for its long sandy beach. For lovers of sea life, it is definitely one of the best places in Maremma. Number 7. Saturnia Hot Springs. A few kilometers from the village of Saturnia Springs of sulfuric waters form large pools with a temperature of 37.5 degrees Celsius. Access to is public and free all year round. For those who prefer comfort, there are also several hot springs in the area. Number 8. Sconsano. Sconsano is located in the hills of Maremma, a narrow strip of land between the coast and the slopes of Monte Aniata, offering wide and varied views. The city's history dates back to Etruscan and Roman times, as evidenced by the archaeological site of Ghiaccio Forte. The town is now famous for the success of Morellino di Sconsano, the region's prestigious red wine. Number 9. Orbitello and its lagoon. Another unusual place in Maremma, the small town of Orbitello lies in the middle of the lagoon of the same name. A lovely relaxing place to take a walk, have an aperitif, visit the square and the church. Magnificent views of the lagoon are perfect as the sun sets. He is one of the most romantic places on the Maremma coast. You can also rent a bicycle and explore the surroundings by bicycle. Number 10. The Uxalina Nature Park. Located between Principina, Amer and Talamon, the Uxalina Natural Park has 25 kilometers of coastline with sandy beaches and cliffs, rolling hills towards the sea, numerous marshes, pine forests, fields and meadows. You can visit the park on foot, by bike, horseback, covered wagon, canoe or donkey along the trails. So guys that's all for today's video. What do you think of these beautiful places in Maremma? Let us know in the comment section below. Share this video with more of your friends. Like and hit the notification bell icon to never miss out any of our latest updates. Have a nice day and I will see you later.